state statute, tax increment finding cannot be used for recreational purposes. Uh, so the soccer stadium itself cannot avail itself of tax increment financing. The adjacent private development and the infrastructure, uh, the roads, the sewer lines, the stormwater lines, the utilities that need to exist to serve private development, those are things that tax increment financing can be used to pay for, as well as the cost of cleaning up contamination, getting these sites ready for development. Uh, once they're ready, the things that are being talked about both within the community through the master planning process uh, and in the development community that would make sense out there uh, could be affordable and market rate apartments, uh, multi-story buildings uh, with retail on the ground floor or office uses on the ground floor uh, that really provide some additional density. Uh, this area is served very well by mass transit and it's a very attractive location for people to live and shop and work. Without tax increment financing, the redevelopment costs associated with getting these sites ready for private investment uh, would be too great to bear, whether that be contamination on a site, uh, obsolete buildings that need to be demolished, uh, inadequate infrastructure to serve new development. Those are all typically costs borne by the public sector. Uh, and it benefits us all to spread those costs over time and to use the increased property values and the resulting property taxes from those property values to pay for those public investments over the course of time. One of our major partners at the site is the Metropolitan Council. They own the majority of the land where the soccer stadium will sit. They operated there for many years and have contributed, uh, agreed to contribute up to four and a half million dollars to clean up their site. In addition, they have provided a grant of $1,250,000 to clean up the adjacent privately owned property. Uh, so this is just one more example of their great partnership uh, and the types of partnerships it takes to get these sites cleaned up and ready for private investment. Uh, other business centers that have received similar funding uh, throughout St. Paul's neighborhoods have brought thousands of jobs. Great Northern Business Centers, North and South, uh, utilized the same assistance from Met Council and has brought nearly a thousand jobs back to the North End and Frogtown neighborhoods. On the east side of St. Paul, uh, we've developed three business centers that have received uh, several grants of this sort from Met Council. Uh, those business centers have brought nearly 2,000 jobs back to St. Paul's east side. Uh, this is an invaluable tool uh, to help us get these major redevelopment projects done.